So here's a video on how a splash is made. Now these are called parent reels and these all have one ply of toilet paper. The parent reels are then craned over to the three ply machine where each individual layer is combined together with the help of glue and pressure. And as you can see, the parent reels are spinning round and round. Once individual layer has gone through the machine, they combine together and wrap around the core. Then the flap is glued onto the roll and the splash pattern is embossed. Then all the completed rolls of toilet paper go into this really cool elevator that gets stored until it goes into the cutting process. Now this saw cuts each of the individual toilet paper rolls and then they go round on this conveyor belt and as you can see there are so many. Then they get sectioned into 12s so they can be created into the 12 packs of toilet roll. Then the splash packaging is added to each individual 12 pack using this super quick machine with an extreme amount of heat. Then they go round on the conveyor belt and there's this really slick transition here which changes the 12 pack from lying down to standing up. Then they get sectioned into 60 packs. So five 12 packs are then combined together. Then they go through this machine here where another bit of packaging is added to create your 60 packs. The 60 packs then go round this conveyor belt one more time. Now each 60 pack has a nice amount of time on the conveyor belt to take in all the views of Splash's production HQ before it then makes its final journey to the distribution center. Now we're coming up to my favorite part of the production line and as you can see one 60 pack goes in there and then is risen above. Then another 60 pack comes along to go underneath it and then you have this mega robot that takes the 60 packs and stacks them on a pallet ready to go to the distribution center. Then once each individual pallet has the right amount of splashed toilet paper on it, it then gets shrink wrapped to then be taken out via a forklift onto the lorries to head to the distribution center.